it's time for another edition of Growing Your Brain with your star and lead explainer, Mike Hernandez. Buckle up as he takes not knowing things and bounces it straight through. Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Growing Your Brain with me, Mike Hernandez, and nobody else. So today we're gonna to show you how to install a bar end shifter micro mount. And we have three different versions, each of which comes in two different lengths. One is a standard size and one is a short size. The first one that we've got for you is the Shimano, which you'll see here, labeled with the SHIM and it has a threaded tower. The next one that we've got is a Micro Shift, which is labeled here with the MS. It also has a threaded tower, but do note that these are specific to their respective shifters and you want to make sure that you get the right one for your bike or trike. Finally, we've got the SRAM, which you'll see here labeled SRM. It's got a very small tower. It also comes with a bolt, and so it's very uh, specific to its shifter. And then finally, each one of these comes with a bar end plug. Listen, this installation can be a bit tricky. If you're not fully comfortable with taking apart and putting back together a shifter, then we recommend you visit your local bike shop for help. Let's start with the Shimano version. So the only tool that we're really gonna need for this job is a flathead screwdriver because we're gonna be taking this one bolt out. We're gonna start on the right side of the trike. On this trike, this shifter affects the rear derailleur. For good measure, we'll be shifting down to slack the tension in the cable. Now that there's no tension on the cable, simply remove the bolt from the shifter with the flathead screwdriver, pull out the Shimano specific tower and keep this in a safe place. Install our bar end shifter micro mount and screw the bolt right back in. It's as simple as that. Now let's move to the left side of the trike. For this side, we'll be using the short version of the bar end shifter micro mount. Just like last time, we'll slack the cable by shifting to the lowest gear. Then it's as simple as removing the bolt with the flathead screwdriver. Removing the Shimano specific tower, which we place back in the bag for safekeeping. Placing the bar and shifter micro mount in place and then tightening the bolt back down. For a sleek look, we're going to add a cap plug. A cap plug can be used on any bar and shifter mount and is included with the mount. The Micro Shift bar and shifter micro mount is pretty much the same installation as the Shimano version. The only difference is that you use a 4mm Allen wrench to disassemble the shifter. Loosen the bolt of the shifter, and then, holding the shifter together, remove the tower and store in a safe place. Insert the bar end shifter micro mount, and then tighten the bolt back into place. Next, we'll install the SRAM version of the bar end shifter micro mount. The SRAM shifter contains two bolts, one called the friction bolt, seen here, and this one called the housing bolt. Our mount is designed only to be installed in place of the housing bolt, which attaches the shifting mechanism to the body of the shifter. First, take the tension off the cable by shifting down. Then remove the housing bolt with a 4mm Allen wrench. And safely store any unused hardware. 
The shifter assembly will come off as one piece with no loose parts. Then, use the included M6 by 14 button head bolt to attach the bar and shifter micro mount to the shifter assembly through the body of the shifter. Finally, torque the bolt to 5 newton meters. Then you're ready to mount whatever accessory you'd like, such as a throttle. The outer diameter of the bar and shifter micro mount is 7 eighths of an inch, a standard size in the bicycle industry. So mounting accessories like this throttle mount is easy. If you want to take things to the next level, we've drilled out the inner diameter of the bar end shifter micro mount to fit with our 7 8 to 7 8 inch 2 bolt T-clamp, which you can add by inserting the T-clamp into the bar end shifter micro mount and tightening the M6 bolt using an M5 hex wrench. This opens up a whole world of possibilities like double decker mounting, hand rests, or even one handed setups. Hey! Thanks for watching. You can find all three versions in both links at t-cycle.com and we'll see you next time.